Okay, and since now we have uh, three days, I was uh, previously very rushed, rushed to going through this old background concept and then the tools we are going to use. But I will, uh, this time I'm going to uh, take some time so people can actually look around the tools and actually learn how to use the tool. And my terminology, I even made a joke about this one before. So, you know, the terminology, as I know, what's the mail, what's the word, what's the virus, I want to go through it in five minutes. Because <laughs> this is important, but I wanted to still go through it so that we can, you know, in the same page. Okay. And uh, poison ivy, who, who knows how about the poison ivy? Okay. So then it's good, we want to, poison ivy is one of the uh, most popular causes that you can download it. It's rat, uh, your remote administrate. Administrator tool or administrator tool, so I'm going to use RAT as a RAT as a short uh, acronym. Yes. And so we will actually look at it and uh, and actually uh, execute it. Then we want to learn the uh, persistent technique, how the malware do in order to persist like after reboot, what kind of uh, technique they are using. So we want to learn that one. And after that, the menu maneuvering technique. So this one, I made it up. So maneuvering is not commonly used term, but I wanted to still distinguish between, okay, there's a persistence is a well-known term, but what about moving from, if you have infected machine, what about moving around the processes? Like right? there's other processes, then you know, how we're gonna call it? And then I want to keep thinking. Maybe maneuvering because the another term is like a lateral movement. You probably heard about it, lateral movement. But that one is more used for moving around the machine to machine. So I want to still distinguish it. So so that is that. But if you heard that somebody said, look, you, you talk later. On, you know the maneuvering uh, tech, uh, uh, technique. They said, no, what are you talking about? But no, Veronica said there is a maneuvering technique. Nobody may not know what that is, but just I wanted to uh, clarify. Uh, just there is also, uh, another making, you know, I want to do call it processes to process mover, moving around. So that's what I call it as a maneuvering. Okay. Also, I have to actually, the reason moving around process to processes is to, you know, how to make it in the strategically, the malware, put it itself so that can, like, if you steal the information, how can you steal it? I'll explain in more detail later on. And then after that, the uh, part three is the malware functionality. Functionality. So how malware, you know, one, if there's one sample, it includes multiple functionalities. But we cannot actually cover all of them. But we will cover some of uh, uh, some of the uh, um, outstanding uh, uh, functionalities. Then. After that, we want to uh, use a cuckoo sandbox. Everyone knows what sandbox is, right? So one of them is a, a, cuckoo, a cuckoo sandbox, which is actually open source. And on your LAN machine, it is already is installed and configured. So we are going to use that. Then we were looking at the uh, mic output of the cuckoo box. Have you heard the mic? OK. So it is a minor, uh, minor uh, developed is like a standard. Hold on a second. I, I, can, I can remember. So it is a, a structured language to communicate between like a different like a organization. How to can we say the same term to describe one malware sample? So I'm going to go to detail later on as well. And after that, uh, we'll learn how to use a snort and Yara. Who use a snort? I'm sure that multiple people use a snort. How about Yara? Okay, so I want to basically, uh, SUR is like a, a, in, a network intrusion detection system, and YAR is a, I guess, I how can I say, signature detection system? Okay, I should have actually remembered it was the definition of YAR. What you usually do is you can scan like a fi random files, random foreign files with the signatures. But I wanted to say, hey, this is the definition as a one line, but then, I don't know how to that what what is gonna be with that definition. But that's what Yara does. I probably have a slide to have one definition. But all right. This one, uh, class convention. So when you actually see in your printout, when there is like a mark, you know, this uh, glass, then gonna be something that you probably you know want to 
uh, type something on your machine, you're actually running something, then the slide is indicated is a lab activity. And if it is a uh, exclamation point at the lab, please do not look at it before you finish your lab because that's the answer. And you know, knowing answer before you are uh, solving the puzzle is you know taking out all the fun out of it, right? So when you see that mark, then please avoid to look at it. Okay. And okay. And okay. This uh, prompt prompt is a. When it has a, this uh, C column prompt, then it is uh, something that you are supposed to write something on the DOS inside the VM. So we will see it. And then if it is uh, the dollar sign, then you are supposed to type something on the, your host Ubuntu machine. Okay? All right. Any questions so far? We good? Okay. How about let's go over to your. Um, machine all right for here okay i am actually ssh to the uh, my the uh, instructor machine here so it will not be exactly the same but very uh, close uh, similar so when you see the uh, lab i'll uh, probably you don't need to use a lab but when you see on your screen and do you see the terminal icon terminal icon and do you know how to start the terminal do ls and do you see malware class here all right so when you see malware class and go to malware class and do ls and you should see there's a docs misc samples tools directory all right everyone see if you do not have it please let me know then but there it should be all right and the uh, document that in the in your uh, machine actually is out of date, but I'm gonna have uh, this slide available for the uh, open security training that info. I'm gonna let you know the uh, URL later on. So the slide, so you need to copy, you know, using the USB later on. I'm gonna make it available later on because the one is out of date. But anyway, it is made. Uh, using LibreOffice, so you can check Redux. Okay, you see there is like a four uh, slide. There's like a, oh, it is, oh, well, LibreOffice, malware. So actually, even, uh, I would say, please do not open it. You don't need to, that's why. But it's just made uh, using LibreOffice. <laughs> 